Okay, in this video, we're going to go for what I call option two and the exhaust gas recirculation delete. Option one is the easy one, is where we just disconnect the pipe off exhaust gas recirculation valve here on this 4GX1 engine and block the pipe that leads away to all the control valves. Quite important you do that because if you don't it'll throw error codes which that in turn deactivates this valve here. Now I've done other videos on why you do this go have a rummage around and find those and that's option one. Option two I'm taking this a bit further today it's been like this for 10 years it's always run fine but today we are going to delete or remove the throttle body plate little butterfly in there because that works in conjunction with this guy and it can restrict the airflow at idle and partial loads and it could make the truck run a little bit rich so I'm going to get rid of that plate see if there's a change in performance so first things you need to do is whack the top off the intercooler remove the hose pull the plug out of here disconnect that and there's another plug over the back which is for the throttle position sensor undo those two bolts I don't know if I mentioned that oh you need to un release the connector on the side for the engine wiring harness and all this will lift straight off anyway I'll get into that now so plugs away there's a little release button on the side push that in pull the plug off there off the stepper motor and then you need to pull the plug off the back of the throttle position sensor on the back undo these nuts so I got the two nuts off there and what I failed to realize is you need to remove the bracket that holds the intercooler too so we'll pop out these two plus one up the front here and we'll take this bracket off and that will allow this to lift out so we've got our bracket off through here get that on frame and it should just be as easy this is damn hot at the moment now as you're doing this don't leave anything laying around that can fall down the middle oh I forgot another one got to release the wiring harness dickhead okay we're back so wiring harness is now loose that should just come off it's not too hot for me to hold on to let's go one two three ow damn there you go easy as that so we'll have a look down in the intake here as you can see there's a little bit of black but this is pretty good for about 11 years of running with the exhaust gas recirculating valve disconnected so there's a bit of grime in there but it's certainly not restricting the flow feels a bit gritty yep I'm pretty happy with that I've seen a lot worse than that they can be completely blocked anyway this is the bad boy we'll take into the garage and pull this butterfly plate out of so over the 10 years I've owned this vehicle I've had to replace the throttle position sensor on the end here because it was throwing fault codes and I think that just wears a, a ball patch in the conductor so it loses its marbles a bit but that's all I've had to do the stepper motor seems to be pretty reliable um, but what we're here today to do is remove those two screws in there and take the plate out now just take the plate out don't touch anything else don't touch the motor you need that leave the shaft in there because the shaft has to turn the little trim pot at the end so it knows this tells the computer what position this is rotating to if this can't see that it's going to throw throw the shits anyway so I'll get rid of that plate if I'm not happy with the way it runs I can always put it back in um, these screws are apparently a bit tight to take out but they do come out and they may have peened the ends here yeah, there's little oh, punch marks in there I can get my screwdriver in there there you go there's little punch marks in the middle display the brass screws out to stop them falling off and going through your engine and wrecking it anyway we'll pull, we'll pull those screws out now when you go to take the screws out of this find yourself a good screwdriver with a harded point don't use a piece of shit because it'll all turn pear shape when you round the end of the screw off We'll get that in there and push down there we go that little snap is it breaking free and then it will just wind out in theory so 
there's one now this plate passes between the metal shaft so it has the center of the shaft machined out you'll see what i mean in a minute so the plate is actually sitting between and that should just slide out like that we'll give that a clean up put it back in the vehicle and that should be sweet as so to recap why are we doing this i don't know if i explained the reason i'm removing the plate from out of here i'll just zoom out is because this works in conjunction with the exhaust gas recirculation valve which i've disconnected and because i've disconnected it when this shuts it's going to create a slightly higher vacuum on the intake or more restriction like a dirty air cleaner it's going to make the truck run a bit richer at idle and could use a bit more fuel possibly but anyway we'll get rid of it because it's not needed and it should return the fuel ratios and everything back to normal that's the theory anyway so i'm going to go through and reassemble all this now you don't need me to give you instructions on that because you saw how it comes came apart so i'll throw it back together start her up see what happens and i'll drive it around for the next few weeks there we go all back together we'll go dial her up see if it makes some noise okay let's crank it oh it works i'll plug in the tech two and see what it's trying to do so there we go got the tech two charged up throttle plate throttle positions trying for position nine but there's none there it's idling smoothly um, if i turn the air con on it turns the EGR regulating valve back to zero percent which is that guy there which is uh, normal behavior and it feels smooth with it on or off the air conditioning the idle desired idle and engine speed are matching which are these lines here so the engine's behaving as it should So there is one observation I noticed, I just turned the motor off and it gave a little bit of a shake as it turned off and that is, from what I've read on the Google machine, quite normal because the um, throttle plate shuts and actually um, stops the engine shaking a bit as it shuts down, but I don't care, it seems to run well. Okay people, that concludes that video, um, what we've done is we've figured out how to disconnect that, remove the butterfly plate out of there, there is one final third thing you can do, and you can add a, a EGR blanking plate, not here, but it's actually done over on the exhaust manifold on the other side, because that's where the exhaust gases originate from, come through the front of the head, wind their way through here and come out here. But I'm relying on this remaining shut for the spring force to stop the exhaust gases getting in. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll probably get around to blanking that off one day just to be super safe. But it could in some situations, um, if you've got a bit of exhaust gas back pressure from the exhaust, could try and sneak its way through here by lifting the valve open in here. But I doubt it. Anyway hope that helps. Thanks for watching. See you later.